Hello, this is Chris McVeigh with KDE Direct. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a basic DJI battery calibration to get max flight times out of your power system. Once you have figured out max flight times with your power system, you can add your own safety buffer for your personal flight times. This will help you get the best performance out of your power system. You're going to need a very accurate voltage meter or voltage checker of some sort to perform this task. I will be using a voltage meter here for reference. Your battery should be in new and good condition to maintain voltage for proper flight times. The battery should be fully charged reading 4.20 volts per cell across the board. Check your battery with your voltage meter and write the number down. You will use this information to do the calibration in the DJI software. Once you know your fully charged battery's voltage from an outside source, you'll need to hook the flight controller up to the DJI software. DJI software menus vary from different flight controllers. Today we'll be using the DJI NASA MV2 for reference. With your main flight battery connected, hook the flight controller to the software. Navigate to the voltage protection screen. With the NASA MV2, it's under the advanced menu. At the top you will see protection switch. Make sure this is set to on. Make sure the battery type is set to the correct cell count as your battery. In this case a success system. To the far right you will see the calibration button. Click calibration. This will open up a new dialog box. To the right of the calibration, enter the voltage you read with your voltage meter or battery checker. Click OK. Now that we have the fully charged battery calibrated, we need to set up the first and second level of protections to get max flight times. Under first level protection no load, type in 21.5 volts. Under second level protection no load, type in 20.5 volts. Both of these voltages will transfer over to the loaded voltage box. We simply leave the loss at zero. Remember your power system is under load when flying. The first level protection kicks in and you land. Your battery voltage should step back up. Now go fly your platform in a hover about six to eight feet above the ground outside of ground effect. This will draw the higher amperages, more than flying in forward flight. Make sure you take your time and do this in a safe area. Once the first level of protection kicks in with a yellow flashing light, land. Now check your battery for voltage. They should be at or above 3.58 to 3.6 volts. Now that you have flown and figured out your max flight times for when the first level protection kicks in, you can change your transmitter's flight timer according for your safety needs. Thank you for watching.